How's it going everyone? My name is Nori Plays. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new reaction series that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing the Walton Files. If you haven't heard of the Walton Files, it's kind of like an analog horror adventure, which, ki which kind of combines the elements of like Five Nights at Freddy's and uh, the Mandela catalog with the alternates and stuff like that. From what I've seen anyway. Again, I'm going into this blind. So without further ado, this is Walton Files 1. We're going to be doing 1 and 2 in this episode, perhaps, as well as some of the secrets, because apparently there are just secret episodes in this. Like, I had no idea. Okay, Walton Files 1, company introductory tape. Let's get right into this. Oh. There he is. Who's that, then? Bon. Does that say a cyber fun tech? Bunny Smiles Inc. 1974. Hi, Bunny and welcome to the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Inc. Okay, so we're we're working now. Applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. What does this job particularly mean? It means that you, amongst other employees, are the one who'll take care of creating a magical and fun experience for Bond's Burgers. Hip hooray, hip hooray, I mean... That is not creepy. Yeah, no. That doesn't raise red flags already. Hat on. Hip, 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 Who? The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out today. The sun? <laughs> what am I watching? Oh, oh. I do hope that dog is for sale. How much is that dog in the window? I mean, all is good. All is good so far. I do hope that dog is the same. Old MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. And on that farm he had some pigs. E -I -E -I -O. Well, I <laughs> These are the showstoppers. Bon, Shaw, Boozoo, and Banny. Oh wait, that is too fast. Hold on. Okay, let's break this down. Who and who? These are the showstoppers. Bon. Bon. Shaw. Boozoo. Shaw. Boozoo and Banny. A Boozoo. Boozoo. And Banny. Or Bunny or something. Animated band made by BSI to entertain children. As a technician, you'll be given... So like animatronics? Caretaker. Around this fun and magical journey, we'll work on certain tasks. Such as... Cleaning protocols. Cool. Robot maintenance and repair and learning how to use BSI technology. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved founder. What's good? In BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this dream with you. A glitch? Hold on a minute. Saint Ju- I can't even read it, it's so pixelated. R run that back. Saint Juana? Or Juana? Forest? Private location. Save restore secure of a BSI storage facility. Also known as K9 is a company project to storage all valuable items from the closed for good Bon Burgers restaurant. So this is like their warehouse or storage facility, something like that. Uh, facility caretaker will take care of securing the facility and keeping it safe and working properly. Cool. Oh, it's glitching. It's glitching. 
Who was that anyway? Sunlight Animation presents. He smiles. Incorporated. His neighborhood. Little Bond's neighborhood. Bond's super sleepover. Oh, okay. It's a brand new day in Little Bond's neighborhood. It's like an animated series. Episode. Got it. Little Bon has been waiting all day for his friends to arrive. I mean, he looks a lot he better than he did. Sleepover with him. He has everything set up for the perfect movie night before. with his friends. So he's having a sleepover. Cool. He invited Shah, Boo Boo, and Billy. Let's Shah, Boo Boo, and Billy. Cool. Ronald McDonald. Shah, Bozu, and and who? And who? Excuse me. That's not a uh, Billy. Why are his eyes like blacked out as well? No, 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 no. Run that back. Run that back. You were supposed to say Billy. Bon invites right? Billy. Let's yeah, Billy. Again, in case we don't forget any guests. Bon invited Shah, Bozu, and. Oh, all right then. Oh, that must be them. Good morning. Now that everyone has arrived, I suppose it's time for the movie night to begin. What kind of Bond movies we watching? Money on a really funny movie, which he and his friends will enjoy and will laugh with little Bond. And his friends watched the movie. I guess we can say they had a blast of a time. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back. They had a blast of a time. He has like a weird thing going on there. And, uh... That's the face that we saw just a second ago. The movie. On the brick? Or something? Had a blast of a time. What does that say? What did that say? Let me out of here, I believe that says. Interesting. <laughs> Let who? Who's in there? They're sleeping, but... I'm not going to be able to remember the names at the start. Please forgive me if I mess it up. So this is Bon. Right? Yo, what's good, bro? What you saying? What these sounds, man? Hello, what's good, bro? Don't get any closer, personal space! Personal sp- <laughs> Missing Jack Walton? I cannot read that shit. I'd have to look at a smaller screen or something. That is terrifying, man! Get get out of here! Why are you just are you staring at it? What's happening? A lighter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Huh? Right. What the hell? Is that something running? I think this has gotta be it. Yeah, the K9. This is the storage facility. About 78, 79, somewhere in it. And that was four years ago. It's so hard to make out what he's saying. It's gonna smell horrendous. It smells horrendous in there? 
What is that breathing, bro? <laughs> Those look kind of funny, though. Is that the Jackson family? Nah, it's the Walton family. Come on, guys. I'm trying to make out what that is. Wait, that's Bon or something. It's like a disposed Bon. What the hell? Oh. I cannot hear what they're saying. Wait, it's moving. Oh, hello. Good morning. How you doing? Nice teeth, by the way. Oh, you have nice pupils on those eyes. Anyone to tell you have nice, sexy eyes? How did you even get away? That's the question that we should be asking here. Those are rivals, right? Like, I'm not... Yo! Is that? Is that the guy? I can't feel anything. He thought I was her. Her? As in like the shawarma? What was the name? Shama? Shuma? Shuma? Shama? Oh, here we go. Brian Stella. And I work at as a facility caretaker. Was that point of view from Brian then? It must have been. It must have been. <laughs> yeah, hello, Mr. Walton. How are you doing? Where's your forehead gone? <laughs> it's goofy looking. Rewind. Company introductory tape. Written drawn. Sick. Cool. Um. And this is two. Okay. So that was one. Let, let's let's go back. Let's go back. Let's break down one real quick. Okay. So what was going on in here? So I need to remind myself of all the names, man. Let's go back here. Here we go. Perfect movie night with his friends. For this sleepover, he invited Shah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Shah. That's it. So was Shah the person at the end he fought? Um, like, he, I assume they're talking about Bon here, by the way. So Bon thought that Brian was Shah. And then, because obviously he got mutilated, and then uh, now he's working there. Um, yeah, something took over him. I also missed this bit with the lighter. Because something clearly shows up here. I'm trying to figure out what. 
So what is this person here? Who who is this? Because this should be kind of introducing everything in a way, but it isn't. Like all these characters are showing up, but I don't know what their name is or what they're doing there. I guess the more I watch, the more I'll find out. But I assume what was standing there was Bon because you can see the white um belly from what you see here which is also kind of like present with the blood and everything so i assume whoever this was they died they got destroyed <laughs> um and then what else so who is driving here i need to kind of catch up on that who is this Cause you can't hear shit. What you can't hear anything. What they're saying. So this is the brand new caretaker for the old Bonnie Smiles facility. Now I'm uh. Okay, so that was this Brian person, because he said that he's the new caretaker for the facility or something like that. So that was him getting caught and then bang he turned into whatever this is. That's kind of nuts. And then obviously Walton shows up. This is crazy. This is crazy. You know what? This is going to get so deep. Uh, but what I'm going to do for the next one is I don't think I'm going to pause and then we'll watch it. We'll watch it through once and then I'll kind of talk about what I thought. Uh, after. So let's watch two as well. Here we go. He's building this time. Bunny Smiles Inc. Wait, 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 wait. The date? The date at the bottom is like blocked out. Oh, what was that? Well, okay, wait, wait, we'll, again, we'll go to that after. Bunny Smiles Incorporated, accompanied by Cyberfuntech 1978. DSI members and employees, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bonds Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles company for the better. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the tragic Again, closure of another the thing blocked out. On July 20th, 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the Relocate Project. But before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. Cool! Let's start analyzing the Relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous tapes, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Is that like Brian over there? No. Oh! Huh? Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appeared, such as books, merch, animated movies, we even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram the robots of Bond's Burgers with the purpose of relocating them. Okay, so Felix Kranken made them. ...in a not-so-distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bond's Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant... Yeah. Head, but also a giant heart. And then Walton shows up. That is a face. I'll try brighten that up if I can, that, that section. Banny. Created in 1974. So we're going from Bond to Banny. Pre relocate feature, however, it still requires checking. Blink. Oh my god. Clean the eye socket. I mean, this is just a weapon of mass destruction at this point. Come on now. 
Noid Board. I can't tell. <laughs> Looking for friends' customers. Uh, the music uh, is gone. So are you looking for me or what? Yo? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> cool. The rabbit tries to find a way out of the cage, but it's unsuccessful. The rabbit keeps trying to find a way out, or at least catch the owner's attention. The mighty rabbit must get out. The mighty rabbit needs to get out. He can't get out, bro. It's a never-ending loop. Needs to get out. The mighty rabbit needs to get out. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. It's starving. The rabbit is starving. So you could you're, you're just gonna die. The rabbit. You can't starving. get out, bro. The rabbit is starving. It's starving. It's starving. It's starving. It's starving. It's starving. It's 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 My ears, man. I like ha hairs. Those are hairs, right? They're not bunnies. Those are hairs. Because they're a lot bigger. Look at that. Look at the size of those. It was very symbolic, though, because she was running around the same way. Swag! Trapped in a cage. Yep, you can't get out. I need to brighten that up as well. What is that? Bunny farm. Hey, it's your boy. Skinny penis with all his friends. Uh, Shar? Right? Pretty sure? Actually, Shar might just be a Welcome dude. To technical support. Today we will focus on the area to it's hard to tell. The Bunny Smile Storage Facility. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Bunny Smile uniform. Um, but most importantly, all of you must always under any circumstance use your BSIID card. Once you have all the necessary equipment at hand, we are ready to go. Cool. Hello, I see you made it to the storage facility. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. But let's stop and think, do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? Absolutely. I so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9. Lantern. Check. Snack. Love your mom. Check. Key. Check. Camera. Check. Uh, don't look at me like that. Oh, you too. <laughs> 2v1, I'll take you on. Wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn I mean, on the light. I'm turning turn on it the on. There we go. I can see. It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers, you name it. Cool. Remember to always keep this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. But it's filthy in there. It's absolutely filthy in there. 
He was a shadow person. Alright, this is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bond's Burgers restaurant. Cool. The third door is used to hide... Is used to hide what? Bodies? That's pretty, uh... It's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to rewind that. Welcome to the basement. Right now, you are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rebind that earlier, but... Remember to avoid touching or shining lights with our robots unless you are a facility technician. Well, good thing I turned it off then. Yeah, good thing I turned that shit off. Damn. Thinking cap is on. How are I remember we visited this room already. Oh yeah, this is the room... ...where you were speaking backwards. By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. It's you again. Are you turning people into this? You were beautiful. You were beautiful. You were beautiful. Fix you. Great! Uh-huh. So... I see. That's horrendous. She looked beautiful. But on the inside... Oh, this is disturbing. That is horrifying. They're turning people into these. Again, I'm gonna have to brighten that up. I can see you. The following footage was recorded during July 1978. Oh my god. Hold on. I have to go back because I just missed that. I missed all this. Which three Bunny Smiles technicians volunteered to stay three days at the BSI storage facility for the purpose of reprogram the animatronics in order to execute the relocate project. So they wanted to move somewhere else. Uh, Hillary, Ashley, and uh, Kevin. Cool. Oh no, but um... The place itself was open during a short period of time, in which um, a certain number of cases occurred around the area. Huh. Yeah. And there were complaints from people that lived near the restaurant about the place playing music during midnight. Like, two or three in the morning. I don't think it's just music. On, which was weird, because back then, the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. But yeah, the place closed after people were put in during the screams of the adult woman inside of the restaurant. Jeez. So yeah, yeah. Some hours after that specific case was reported, residents decided to close the doors, probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Um, what's weird about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let like one or two families in. And they mentioned later that the animatronics, like the entertainers, were completely absent and the current was closed. Well, that's odd. Uh. This forest reminds me of the movie, the, uh, is that Chainsaw Man? I think we changed these pieces with the new one. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the others soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yes, but I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point, that's the point of this whole project, right? I mean, um, I think we should restore yes. as much as we can, but thing. Yes, but... If we keep focusing on these small details, the reprogramming of the robots won't be finished. Hey Kevin, I, I doubt we can add the blinked eyes feature on this one. I talk until really damaged. 
Most likely, someone did this intentionally. I think all these holes in the suit and stuff were made after the closing. What do you mean? When the place closed down, some of Wait. the company who created the robots had to revise them after noticing a good amount of irregularities in them. During the process, they probably did this mess to get to the end of sales. Did they get turned into the robots as well? Look at this key. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentioned its purpose? You just overlooked it. I mean, why would they give us a key with no use whatsoever? Exactly. It has to be for something interesting. Maybe, but we're uh, running out of time. We just focus on finishing these robots by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Cool. Hello. This will probably be the last party today for really so, yeah. Bad news, the Republic of Impace was unsuccessful. We had a lot of inconveniences when we tried to restore the robot, ton of damaged parts in the end of the the models made it impossible to add the new features, and let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah, we hope we can go back with better equipment and a better deadline. As Hillary said, we're begging the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan, but for now, this ends the reprogramming phase. Ah, uh, they weren't able to fix them, so they just went back. And log. Why do they want to relocate them so badly, though? Hey guys, this is Ashley. I'm using the camera because I am planning to buy her with a ski leaf suit. I'm sure whatever this ski hides could save the project. I will show this footage to you guys once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. Okay, so the small key has a purpose. It took me a while, but I realized the key leads to this door. They have a back doors. The it's back the doors. Area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. So the small key leads to the back doors. Uh, I'm just, this is bigger than I thought. I don't think I have enough time, so I'll just try and peek around the doors and see what's inside. There are a ton of empty rooms with boring stuff. I came across this oh. door, which is open. Kind of weird. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endopieces and from the looks of it, some onions and macros, I guess. Why are you going around? I don't know what I find. It's some in a rush, of course, and... This, this room, number 26 or 27, I, I think. Um, As you can see here, there are some uh, spare heads. Nothing I interested in to be on. Oh? Yeah. Oh? What happened? 26 and 20. Well, this is a bizarre. I can't really tell if this buddy is a robot or a puppet, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? Isn't that the first one we saw? That's the first one we saw in, in part one. This is the last door. I am. And that is, uh, what's his name? Bob or whatever his name is. The clown. There's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a closer look. Closer look and it's too late to- I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So I guess I'll have to be brave and uh, try and see what this whole thing is. I don't really know why this dude has a cassette player thing installed. But my guess is that it's used for, um, for birthday parties. Like, you know, play a customized tape or something? Something tells me you shouldn't be in these back doors, lady. Or boy. Could be a little boy. Rosemary Sophie Is that the name of the people that were there before? Oh, yeah, it's too late for you. And that is her. Uh And I assume she got turned into one as well.
Is that a reversal as well? The bar the bar the bar the bar the bar imported colors spoke with knowledge, but never with content. <laughs> And that was her face on there. Oh my god. There's so much to take in when it comes to part two now especially. Like all of this was really like well done and it kept me really unnerved. It felt really disturbing to watch. Yeah, okay, so here's the sc stuff I want to go over. There was a pop-up somewhere near the start, like there was a link or something. It was like... Let's watch it from the start again, hold on. We're not going to watch the whole thing, but I'm just going to break it down. Into like the sections that I need to break down. Particularly. Okay, so this is the intro. There was something up here. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see here. Yep, here we go. So if I go back frame by frame, we can see there's a first part of a YouTube link. So I assume that's what leads us to the secret episodes. And then obviously, uh, you had Barney here. They explained how Barney uh, is just trapped in time, constantly stuck in a loop in a circle. Uh, terrifying shit right there. I this um, what's the name? Shar, Sh Shan, something like that. And then again, the cut to Brian, because Brian was in there first, uh, exploring, and then he got turned into a an employee, I assume. Uh, so let's keep going. So this was uh, what's the name? Before she, you know, got turned into that. Like, this bit was terrifying, like... It makes me feel so uneasy. Yeah, so free technicians, so they obviously went in there to try and repair those animatronics. Obviously they couldn't. Because, let's be honest, those animatronics are like, just cursed objects at this point. They shouldn't even be interacted with at all. But I don't know... Why... They're doing this relocate project. Like, where are they relocating this stuff to? Because... When they spoke, I wasn't able to tell what the hell they were talking about. So... It's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. So the place was playing music during midnight. There were complaints. Like two or three in the morning, along with the lights on, which was weird because back then. I don't know what she says there. Like white bond? Like what? Like two or three in the morning, along with the lights on, which was. What is that? I know she said during the morning as well. But that last bit? Weird, because back then, the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. But yeah, the police closed after people were put in during the screams of the adult woman inside- Wait, what did they say? Again, see like, the audio is so bad, like, the noise is taking over her voice, so it's really hard to pick up on what she's saying, so I have to constantly, like, keep rewinding and trying to make sense of it. So if I do that several times, please have some patience with me, because I want to break it down if I can. Um, I obviously won't do it for too long. Yeah, the police closed after people were put it during the screams of adult woman inside of the restaurant. Adult woman. So yeah, yeah. Inside of the restaurant. Okay, Stranded. Oh, wait, so Brian was a woman? Is that what I'm getting? Yeah, obviously they found, she found a small key, she got through the back door, 
she shouldn't have gone through the back door. Then she started going through every single room uh, until she got to like the 24th, 26th room. And then obviously uh, got one tapped. One tapped by Bon and the clown guy, which name I forget. But um, this bunny as well. Uh, if I bring that up right now. How's it going everyone? Editor Nori here and I just wanted to say that the lady scientist probably turned into Billy after the fact that she got uh, destroyed. But yeah, back to the video. Where is that? Here? This bunny was referenced in the first part. In kind of like a glitch in the tape. So I what I assume is that this is the first animatronic that started killing people. Uh, from the very beginning, even before Bon. That's my guess. But yeah, no, this is gonna be a really cool series. So, if you enjoy, please show your support, smash like button, comment down below with your thoughts, and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you the next time I do this, or something else. But yeah, apart from that, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.